Woo! What is up, you lovely, beautiful, beautiful people? Welcome to the second video of this uh, Sherman instalment. Oh my days, I can't believe it, I got a new wheel. Neil's got a new wheel. Uh, I've had a little go in the backyard. Um, I didn't really go through the instructions on the control panel. I did manage to turn off some beeps and increase the speed to 50, 54. It's weird, it's not like, it doesn't go up in increments of one or two, you know, it's just random. Uh, so I've set it to 54.9. Um, but I tell you what, just straight off the bat, being able to look down like that, oh, and see, see your speed. Um, yes, yeah, so if you didn't watch the unboxing video, you can go check it out if you want. Uh, I literally just take the wheel out of the box, um, and it was all fun. Uh, my reaction, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty stoked about how flipping crazy this thing is it's an absolute it really is a beast um, and I've got a bit of time because we got this lovely spring weather although it's like 30 degrees today um, to go out and go for a lovely little test ride um, couldn't find my knee pads but we should be all right I'm not intending on going crazy although it is a new wheel <laughs> Um, this is where I'm going to regret not getting a suspension wheel. <laughs> but um, for that massive tyre, oh, oh, hello. You know, I might, I did put the, uh, did put the mud guard on, which, is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. Which is pretty sweet. I was expecting, I was looking for screws and stuff in the, in the box it came with. Um, wow, it's just, I mean, the weight of this wheel is a lot different, a lot different to what I've been used to. Um, this similar feeling for when I went from the V8 to the V10, um, and it's that's what I'm feeling right now, just the, the weight of it. Um, and also, I've been so used to having my little makeshift power pads um, we certainly just add so much more res oh hello more responsiveness to your, the wheel um, I highly recommend them whether you make your own out of some foam or you buy some from e-riders which I would highly recommend because let's promote this epic epic man Steve who's uh, bringing these incredible units here to Australia um, so yeah, go check them out. Links in the description. Thank you, Steve, for hooking me up, mate. We uh, now these lockdowns are chilling out a little bit, and our states. Well, hopefully, I didn't even didn't even move over that. I was expecting it to pop up like on the V10. Uh, yeah, our states will be opening up. Maybe it's a crazy thought. But maybe I could ride the Sherman up. <laughs> Take me a couple of weeks. But um, anyway, go check out E-Riders if you're here in Australia. Um, and I think there's there's a little link or a, a code for 50 bucks off your purchase. But to the video, look at this. We got, we're rolling on the veteran Sherman here in country town, regional Victoria. I might turn that light off because can I turn it off whilst riding? Ooh, I don't know. I'll turn it off because you're probably getting blinded. But yeah, it's a it's a beast. It's a beauty. Um, so first things first. What am I? What am I noticing? The weight. We all know it's heavy. I get that, and I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I don't. I got it. Like I mentioned in the first video because I live in regional Victoria, Australia is massive. I live in the countryside and I really like the, the possibilities of being able to ride 100 plus kilometers and pop the tent. I like the flat, the flatness of this area here. It's a perfect storage place with the, 
the protective bars. You can clamp stuff. I can put more headlights on the top there. Um, it's so modular. You just, oh, it's great. Um, yeah, just that distance. So I do hope, I do plan on um, popping the tent on and just going out for the night. Go off 100k, maybe stop at a campground so I can plug in and charge. Um, I don't think I'll go for the dual 5 amp chargers yet. Um, I think they weigh like a kilo each. Have to carry that on the wheel as well, you know, so you have to travel real minimal. But um, yeah, just like more, just riding like this out in the bush, uh, and then some on on some, um, uh, you know, not some not busy highways, obviously, or busy roads, just country roads. There's hardly anybody on there, on there. I'll have to get used to the seat. I, I got the seat as well. Steve included the seat. Um, I've not done much sit-down riding. <laughs> so that's something I'm going to have to learn, which I'm excited about. But yeah, wow. I'm not regretting my per regretting my purchase at all right now. I'm just, oh, so happy. Yes. What an upgrade. And Jesus, the speed is there. It's so well balanced. Honestly, it feels so stable. Um, super stable. The pedals, these pedals are massive. Um, I've watched so many review videos on all these new wheels. And one thing that people were saying about this was, you know, like my toes usually, usually my toe, like everyone, my toe would normally like, you see that, that hang over on the ball of the foot. It's probably too close. I've got a fan going. Yeah, but my feet, they're nice and long, the pedals. Um, super grippy. The only thing that's a bit weird is uh, not having those uh, pads on the side, which I'll, which I'll pop on tonight, I think. I'll make some nicer ones. Um, or I could get those, uh, those bigger ones that E-Riders sell. They look pretty nice. Maybe I'll get them. I'm gonna keep it looking clean, but oh yeah, there's weight. There's weight in it. There's there's weight that like, you have to really lean forward to get it going. But yeah, you know, I'm on some a, quite a gravelly road here. Thankfully, it's nice and dry. This little bump. Oh, that and uh, the tire is quite pumped up. I think I. I'm not sure what Steve. Um, popped in there for me but I'll probably drop it I think people will roll it I think it's 33 psi I was this little bump go woo nice 33 psi max I think I've heard people rolling on 25 sounded really posh then it was 25 psi i um, got a little hill little hill here what am I doing with the camera uh, see I'm like sitting on the tippy toes I've had those power pads. I could grip with the th with the shins. A little jump. Wee! Oh, just that extra space on the front there. You know when you do little pops or go downstairs and stuff, your feet tend to uh, shift forward ever so slightly. I hope this is. I found my uh, longer pole, so we should be able to get with a super super wide. See how we go with this thing. Oh, I didn't want to hit it too quick. Baby steps. Baby steps. Take it. I even put my wrist guards on for this one. Uh, yeah, I couldn't find the knee pads. I don't know where they are. But wow. First impressions. Go check out the actual first impressions on the video. But the riding impressions. Really smooth. Really smooth really smooth and this this is this another another reason why i got this wheel because this is where i plan on riding and this is mostly where i walk the dog uh god that dog's gonna be super fit now he's a kelpie he loves running okay we've got a uh got a vehicle down here i oh, know he's turning in he's turning in yeah so i wanted that big meaty tire 
and I'm just gonna have to get used to trusting. Oi, hello. Oh, that was good. That bloody gripped pretty well. Yeah, like, because uh, there's all this gravel here, and it would... Normally, I wouldn't go this quick down here. But I can just feel that balance. Ugh. I really feel that balance on the... Man. Honestly. Whew. It's so bloody good. Oh my word. I'm impressed. Very impressed. My feet are a little bit... Uh, I can feel the weight on my feet quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Tends to happen on a new wheel. I say that, I've only ever had one or two, if you include the first one. Um, but yeah, for... You know, it's a big wheel. Oh, what have we got there? I think the, uh, the new tyre's rubbing on the ever so slightly it's rubbing on the oh, you can't even hear it minimal 35 40 oh oh <laughs> so that's where we go we're not going to the top that's Mount Beckworth we'll just go cruise around um, yeah, I can root. That's another thing I liked about the the audio beeping placement on this wheel. I dare I can hear it. Normally, I've got wind rushing through the full face helmet, and not, I, I really struggle. I don't hear it at all. I'm like, ah, I've got a bug in my helmet. Fucking hell, what was that? Oh, it's, a, it's like a bee or something. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Hey, fellas. Those rams. Yeah, that alarm signal was... What if I set it to 40? Like... Yeah, I can really hear that. I'm going to have to read the instructional... Instructional... Instructional? <laughs> the manual. Oh, I've had hay fever all day today. Past couple of days, actually. My head is... Oh, it's killing but wow, guys, it's nice to, uh, if you've tuned in and you're still here listening to me waffle on about this this wheel, there's more videos to come and not just me cruising around my local area. I really do plan on doing some long distance rides with this. My, uh, my good friend, James, he'll be rolling on the the V10F and he's, you know, he's like 10 kilograms lighter than me so he's going to get a lot more range on it. But you know, it might be a solo ride. I'm at like sitting at 40 there. This is where, I mean, the V10F doesn't usually get this fast. I sell it to what, 46 tilt back? Let's have a feel at 46. That's 42. And just, it's just so cruisy. Oh, there's a car. There's a car coming quite fast. I was going to see if I could make make the turn off then, but I'll uh, pull to the side. We uh, don't have to go crazy. It's going to kick up some of its dust. And there's a car behind me. How you going, mate? What's that? Oh yeah, this is a new one too. Can I get a photo? Yeah, man. Hope you can see it. You're not the police here. It's a bit difficult to go back and forth on this. Uh, the gravel. Ah, it's fine on this. Yeah. I'm off to Mount Beckwith anyway. Oh, okay. Where'd you go? Where'd <laughs> right. you go? Cheers, mate. Whoop. There we go. Yeah, I do find because I don't have the the power pads. I'm so used to it. 
because it is so sturdy so it's rock solid uh, my like body weight doesn't actually it won't accelerate it'll accelerate way more of a like clench the legs <clears throat> I just end up going on to my tiptoes which you don't want to go off too far because you'll bloody fly forward um, wow anyway here we are cruising sitting at 35 easy this is a this is a good speed 35 40 oh, excuse me I'm happy with that and that's another reason I bought this wheel yeah I know that in motion v11 offers top speed of 55 but I like the buffer these uh, the batteries offer on this wheel and I'm just all about doing these long range rides I see so many people doing them I'm like I don't live in the city I don't you know, I don't need it for oh, that was good no pedal dip I'm a little bit aware of what I've seen in other people's videos when they had the first Sherman uh, they're sending it to each other around uh, the states there Oh man's getting a bit tired on this camera. It's been a while. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So many big G's out. Yeah, wow. I've not I've not moved my feet at all. I think that's why they're getting a little bit a bit hot. A little tip for you, if you knew or you do have that feeling, if you just uh just go up on one toe like that, you see that? it'll just relieve it and uh, get a bit of blood flow into your feet and also relaxes your legs a little bit yeah what have we done seven kilometers all right sorry about that guys i uh was hearing beeps and it was from the gopro i had some old footage on there i've not pulled the gopro out in ages so uh i'm not sure where we uh left off there but I think I was cruising and rambling on for about three minutes. Uh, but we're here now. We've entered the park of Mount Beckworth. And we're going to go down. So that took me seven, uh, seven kilometers from my house to here. And I normally, I, mean, I don't know why I'm comparing, but my last, my other wheel, my V10F, I'd ride down here a little bit, cruise around, and then I'd have to turn around and I'd get back just before the bar was going red um, and you know you've, you've lost your speed and all that sort of stuff so you're cruising back quite slowly so now the difference the difference is going to be amazing so yeah this is another 3.5 kilometer trail this way um, so there's a place called cork oats oaks or these cork trees but just to uh, it's funny I got this I got this new mobile phone recently um, the Poco Poco X NFC and the battery on that thing is just unbelievable it's massive and the fast charging on it is brilliant and since having that I think maybe that has also swayed me from the V11 to the Sherman uh, and got me thinking about battery usage and you know, what I can do with a, a bigger battery and not having to worry about running out of battery I think I'm not sure what it's called what, oh it doesn't count it's a wallaby I don't know if you can see that on the wide angle I should really look out for some uh, yeah, nature here because we've got your wallabies your kangaroos we've got your echidnas probably a couple of brown snakes tiger snakes black snakes oh is that a snake nope I'm glad it's not a snake it's just a stick um, yeah so this Poco 3 uh, the battery is incredible honestly it's flipping it's amazing it lasts me so long and I just don't I'm not trying to advertise that but the battery if I wake up in the morning I haven't put it on charge and I've got to go to Melbourne need it for the maps or whatever I can just literally quick it, quickly stick it in whilst I jump in the shower and it'll bump it up to like 80% and 
And the thing is, it'll last me for ages. I could go all the way to Melbourne, use my phone for maps, or if I was on the train, you just use it, get back, and not have to worry about not having your phone battery or charging or bringing a flipping brick. So I think that got me thinking about how nice battery anxiety, or I forget what they call it, people with electric cars like the Teslas and stuff, um, you know, going from charge port to charge port for your long distance, <laughs> you probably get a bit of anxiety. Uh, so, this wheel's amazing, by the way. Holy crap, I'm just cruising. Loving it. Ah. Oh. Smiling underneath this helmet. Mm. Oh. Flipping egg. It's great, man. I'll definitely take a bit of air out of this tyre, which will make make this off-road stuff a little bit more enjoyable for my knees and my joints. But I'm just cruising, sitting at way yellow, looking down there, not focusing on the road. 30, 30 kilometres. I tried to get the EUC World app going, but I was in too much of a rush to get out of the house to... Uh, Get this riding before that sun sets. Oh, yes, this is a this is amazing. Um, so yeah, look, the V11. It's not a comparison wheel, really, um, and I think the everyone everyone's loving the V11. Um, I would love the V11. It's a awesome looking wheel, oh, uh, and it would absorb those bumps just beautifully. But we want distance, guys. We want distance. We want a tent on top. We want a little backpack with a, you know, my aero, my coffee aero press. Oh, fucking hello. Woo, so that's what I was talking about. I uh, had to lean so far forward there. And because it's so stable, my heels came up and it almost went past that tipping point. I had to drop the hips and uh, avoid going face first and falling on the wheel. We're going up a small incline here. Interesting. And the power pads would definitely help with that. Um, <clears throat> and I think as well, I've been riding with power pads for months now. Um, so it's a little bit different. I think I'm just so used to pushing and leaning into the wheel quite a lot. Anyway, I digress. We're all about adventures. And I love the roll cage. This little, it looks like a beast, but just the ability to attach stuff onto it is, uh, is just so good. Um, anyway, I'm sure everyone who's got their new wheels, if you go out there, get your new wheels. If you're new to EUC, don't, I would not recommend going straight in for a veteran like first of all the cost it's a lot of money to dive into a hobby um i'd go for a smaller wheel and it's also better to to learn on a smaller wheel it's going to be a little bit harder because it's not uh, like this has got so much balance in it oh it bugs them here so much balance like the massive wheel is so it's really well balanced but you're going to learn all those uh, uh, like EUC riding skills, balance skills on a small wheel like from what I came from, the V8 um, and I find myself riding that sometimes now and it, uh, it is a little bit wobbly because I'm so used to riding a fatter wheel and uh, like now, like if I spent all my time riding on this going back to the V8 would be yeah, a little bit tricky but yeah, oh my word amazing and I don't have any worry about the battery level. I know it's there. I know it can go far. And I can just cruise on this path, go down this way for a little bit. I can go back home knowing that I've got plenty of juice left. Because um, I'm going to have to build up some uh, endurance and also do some of that seat riding my feet are a little bit a bit warm 
you know, like, because there's so much pressure on the front, because it is heavy, like, you can certainly turn it, you just have to really, like, lean into it, it was in 10.5 kilometres, um, I've seen some people ha saying that their tyre wasn't quite centred, so it would wobble, um, I notice a little bit from the front, it's pretty well centred, uh, I don't feel like it's vibrating, but like I'm not going that fast. Um, and I also don't intend on sitting on the road at 60 kilometers an hour. What, you know, it's crazy. I'd have to upgrade all my flipping, my gear, come off at that speed. All right, friends, look, I could ramble on and take you along for this adventure for a long time I've kept you for a while now I appreciate you tuning in again um, and look let me know if you've bought a new wheel let me know if you want any questions I'm going to be a bit more tuned into my YouTube channel from now on because I've uh, I know a lot of people have been commenting on my videos because I get the notifications but I've just um, I've still been riding my EUC every day uh, take the dog for a walk and me and a, f a friend who recently just say recently a couple of months ago learned how to ride one so we go on like some off-road trails <laughs> um, but yeah sort of took a break and I, I guess I uh, I guess I ran out of ideas of content um, and I didn't get this world so I can make videos but it certainly be fun because I like making videos it's gonna be fun to take you along on some of these adventures and even if you're not an EUC rider just show you how far you can go on this it's a mode of transport mate like the amount of money I pay for this you could buy a little car but then you're putting fuel in it you know fossil fuels we need to get away from that um, so if this is something I can just plug in charge up um, they're yeah, given, you know, that electricity that's coming to my house may be using fossil fuels and renewable energy or whatever. It's uh, it's better than chugging along in your car when I don't need to be. Um, I know a few people in the UK who certainly, or people who commute on these now, let's even go up here, do a great job at using their wheels or electric scooters and stuff to get to and from work. How good is it? How amazing is it? I know the world's a bit messed up at the moment, but this sort of technology, if you're into this sort of stuff, um, flipping awesome. Whee! Oh, hello. Yeah, so here's Mount Beckworth. Part of it anyway. Um, and this is the start of a short hike up to the top <coughs> where you get, you got your lollipop tree. We won't be attempting any crazy hill climbs. On the Sherman. Probably any time, really. Oh, I'll be honest. It's a, uh, it's a beast. Look at that. I have to give it a little, uh, little clean later when we get back. Yeah, that's 11.5 distance there. Look, you got a little. Oh, that's good. That is nice to be able to sit down on your wheel. Anyway, I'm waffling. Guys, thank you so much. Go check out E-Riders. They hooked me up. Steve, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much, mate. We'll be riding in Brizzy, in Brisbane soon, I hope. But uh, to the rest of you guys, thank you. And uh, stay tuned for more videos on the veteran Sherman. Um, ride safe. See you soon. Peace. Ooh, look at that tyre. Ha <laughs> ha.